All right, we're starting this video out here by the window because the sun is on its way down. <laughs> I want to capture some daylight while we can. While we can, you can see some fire coming off of these diamonds um, because the sun is peering through the clouds. And we're looking here in this video at two, ob two obviously round, brilliant cut diamonds in the inventory. Both of these diamonds uh, falling with optics in the zenith of the GIAX slash AGS ideal light performance. We're primarily seeing brightness and contrast right now, although we're seeing those little sparks of fire shoot off from the sunlight uh, peering through the clouds. Very pretty. All right. And the diamond on the left is a uh, one, this one here, a 132JSI2. And the second one, 153ISI2. Okay, so these are both diamonds in the near colorless range with face up optics that are awesome. And iClean SI2s to boot. All right. Here is their color seen from the side. All right. The J on my left and the I on my right. You can see a little bit of difference in the color but not, uh, I wouldn't say astronomical difference. Both of them are very beautiful. Okay, and now we're gonna take them into the indoor lighting. First uh, indoor diffuse, then indoor spot. <laughs> or vice versa. All right, and here we are in indoor diffuse lighting. And as you can see, because of how um, the optics are so consistent in both of these cut diamonds, just how identical they are in the indoor diffuse lighting. All right. So really, the only meaningful size, uh, the only meaningful difference between the two, uh, I was going to say, uh, is the size from the 132 uh, J on the right to the 153 I on. Uh, it's one. <sighs> 132J on the left to the 153I on the right. You can tell it's Christmas time, can't you? All right? I got a lot on my mind. But in any case, the uh, contrast patterning in both diamonds is pretty darn equal. Um, I wouldn't say one has a, a clear advantage over the other. Both of them superior brightness and contrast patterning. Okay. So, looking good. Looking good. The question is, do you want to uh, spend less on the one that's a little smaller or more on the one that's a little bit bigger? To me, that's what it would be. Let's look at the fire and sparkle, though. Wow, okay, and we're in the dimmer spotlighting environment, and both of these guys twinkling like the stars. Oh, yes. Pavilion mains lighting up on both diamonds nicely. Very nicely. Oh yeah, so here's, here's a beautiful, beautiful pair of round brilliant cuts. You could uh, literally toss a coin. You can see the light moving along the bottom of the diamond as I tilt them uh, into the spotlighting. I'm avoiding external glare right now, luckily. All right, and let's go in our spotlighting on steroids, my favorite, uh, the funnest lighting to look at it in perhaps. And there's with the diamonds just uh, kind of standing statically. And I just move the light over them. Bling, bling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they got it going on. Both of them got it going on for sure. Absolutely spectacular. Excellent video demonstration of the superior optics of the type of diamonds that we handpick for, uh, you know, for our inventory. And um, what's great about these two is they're coming in at really sweet price points for the sizes that they are. Uh, my nephew Matt and my son David and my daughter Sarah, you know, all my younger generation uh, employees here and, and family members. Uh, who have considerably sharper eyes than I do, make sure that these diamonds are eye clean SIs for the inventory. Okay? I cheat and I get my reading glasses on. <laughs> but uh, they can look right at them and tell right away. Alright, so in any case, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped. Two spectacular round brilliant cuts that we are proud to associate our name with. Alright, thank you for watching. And we hope this has helped.